NJIT is among the universities with the highest research activity in the entire country. That benefits students by giving them the hands-on experience that truly makes research happen. To find out more about that research, let's hear from Diego, who came to NJIT all the way from Spain to pursue a dual degree in computer science and applied physics. Diego, please take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. With my desire to pursue research and a PhD in physics, NJIT's dual computer science and applied physics major was the perfect place to start. Scientific research is integral to the NJIT experience. As an R1 classified institution, the highest rating among doctoral universities and one of only three universities with this distinction in New Jersey. NJIT has over 130 research institutes, centers, and labs spread across multiple disciplines like studying financial bubbles, biomedical advancements, nanomaterials, and many others, including the Center for Solar Terrestrial Research. The Center for Solar Terrestrial Research operates multiple observatories like the Big Bear Solar Observatory in California and many other instruments across the world, like at McMurdo Station in Antarctica. Ultimately, this environment is ripe for a large number of students to get involved in research early in their college careers. I've had the amazing opportunity of working with renowned scientists on NSF and NASA funded projects like the Amateur Ham Radio Citizen Science Investigation and working with all the cutting edge technology that has become synonymous with NGIT. Using ham radios, AI, and machine learning, we have been developing new techniques for observing space weather phenomena with the goal of forecasting these events that can negatively affect emergency communications during disaster relief efforts. NGIT's rigorous academics and the variety of research opportunities have prepared me in more ways than I could have imagined. From learning how to better communicate and refining my analytic skills to honing my ability to problem solve effectively and building an extensive network of contacts in my future field of study. Now back to you, Alex. That is truly amazing, Diego. I love how you're engaging citizen scientists to make them part of the process. Also interesting to know that the farthest western part of New Jersey is NJIT Solar Observatory in Big Bear, California. I'll be sure to stop by and check that out on my next ski trip. Take care, Diego.